Okay, so a lot of people have been uh, <coughs> wondering how to get the uh, VTOL VR going. A lot of problems. It's a pain in the butt hooking up to Steam VR and blah blah blah. So right now we're casting. So let's see if we can get this done. Uh, I have the air link or I have the link cable hooked up, and I've been toggling the off and on thing for it. So then we go to. Settings, Quest Link, use Air Link, but I'm, I am hooked up with the wire, so but I'm turning it off. But I think this is going to take us to our Steam VR. Oh, all right. So headset still not detected. Oh, we got the VR to work. Pass through is activated. Okay, let's see if we can find Vito. Here we are. Here we are. We got it going. Oh, baby. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that guy. He's bringing his gun to the meeting. All right. Definitely need a tutorial. This is pretty cool. <laughs> Line your seat with the virtual chair. Okay. Ready. Haha, <laughs> got my helmet on. Oh, baby. Welcome to the AV42C. First, let's keep the bird from rolling away by using the. Now, let's move on to the startup sequence. First, turn on the main battery. This will store power for all the electronic equipment on the aircraft. Keep an eye on the engine gauges and wait for the RPM to settle. The engines are now supplying electrical power so we can turn off the APU. Now we can turn on the heads-up display. The HUD, or heads-up display, shows you attitude, altitude, velocity, targeting reticles, and other important flight data at a glance. Now turn on the multifunction displays, or MFDs. this thing um. welcome to the basic flight tutorial <clears throat> we'll skip the starter procedure now and pick up where we left off in the last one oh, sweet the main Thanks. flight controls are the joystick and throttle you can grip them by holding the grip buttons or toggle lock your hands to them by tapping the grip buttons. Let's start with taxiing. Grab onto the main flight controls now. To steer the front wheel, you will have to twist the joystick on the vertical axis. In order to get moving, we need to tilt the engines to the forward position. Start by holding the throttle trigger to lock the wheel brakes. Then, press and hold up on the throttle thumb control to tilt the engines forward. The indicator here shows the status of the engine tilt. Oh. Eject. <laughs> 